everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a pop of blue color on my eyeballs. Um, spring is finally here, it's warming up in New England, and I'm finally wearing a dress. I was able to pull out all of my springtime clothes, so um, ignore all the mess in the back. I'm filming in my bedroom today. Um, but today I figured it would be nice to do uh, a pretty pop of blue. It's the weekend, it's Saturday, um, I'm going to be having a full day today, so I want to wear something that's going to be fun um, and something that's going to last. So I already went ahead and did my base. I did uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, uh, excuse me, Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation as well as this um, Maybelline Age Rewind Eraser, Dark Circle Eraser. Um, I put that you know, obviously all over my face and then I set that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, additionally, I did put a little bit of color through my brows. I just used this NYX um, eyebrow pencil in dark brown. So to start with the eyes, the what I'm going to do, this is the plan, is to put a neutral color on my lid um, as well as a little bit of cat liner on the top and then put all the color on the bottom. There are a million ways that you can put color on your eyes, but this is one of my favorite ways to do it, so I figured I'd show you, so let's jump right in. So to start, I'm going to use this NYX Infinite Shadow Stick in Silk and just apply that all over my lid. Then I'm just going to take my ring finger and pat it out and blend the edges a little bit. I love these shadow sticks because they pack a ton of punch. It's so easy, as you just saw. I just swiped it all over my lid, blended it out a little bit, and it's pretty much done. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of shadow um, and apply that into my crease just for a little bit of depth. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and this big fluffy brush, really tap off the excess, and then just put that right in the crease. We're just adding a little bit of definition to the eye without going overboard. So just a little pop. All right, so now that that's all set, I'm going to do a cat liner. I love doing a cat liner on the weekends, not so much during the week during work. Sometimes I'll do a little flick, but the weekend is really when I get to do a cat eye. So to do that cat eye, I'm going to use this NYC liquid liner. I was kind of a snob about NYC because I do have the Stila liner, but I really, really like this. So I'm going to do this off camera because I cannot do two things at once. Um, I can't do this eyeliner while doing other things. So uh, the way that I do it is that I'm going to first draw a flick, just looking straight forward. I'm going to draw the flick, and then I'm going to join it back towards um, my lash line and then draw the line. Alright, so the flicks are all set. I'm sure I can't be the only one who accidentally goes super overboard. Um, this wasn't as aggressive as I was planning to go, but I guess that works too. Um, so I'm going to leave mascara for last, so what the first thing I'm going to do is, is take a darker shade of blue. So I'm going to use this little, um, I think it's CoverGirl. Yeah, CoverGirl um, eyeshadow in the shade... Hmm. I couldn't tell you what the shade is. Oh, here it is. Um, Sapphire Sparkle. And I'm going to use... Oh, and I'm going to use this brush, this Sigma Eye Shading Brush E55. And apply that really close to my lash line. Alright, so now that we have that darker blue applied on the bottom lash line, I'm going to take a gel liner, a blue gel liner, and put that in my waterline. This is Makeup Geeks Electric, and I'm going to apply it using um, an eyeliner pencil. Um, I'm using a blue one just in case any other blue comes through, but all you have to do, look at this blue, um, is dip it in and then apply it to your waterline. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Um, I am going to take a tiny bit of this really beautiful shade um, called Poolside by Makeup Geek um, and take it on this pencil brush from Sigma and just smudge it all in together. I think that it'll add a really neat pop of blue without being too, um, too much. So... 
Alright, so now that the eyes are all set, I'm going to put on mascara. And today I'm going to use this NYX Baby Doll Mascara. Alright, so I want to keep it pretty neutral for the rest of the face, so I'm going to use this uh, blush by Tarte um, in the shade Exposed and this Makeup Geek brush in, um, it's called an Angled Stippling Brush. So I'm just going to take that, apply it to my cheek. I'm going with this muted pink shade because I don't want to put anything um, too bright on the cheeks or otherwise you risk looking like um, a clown. I don't want to look like a clown. Alright, so next I'm going to highlight my cheeks and the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to take this Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Shimma Shimma. Just take a little bit of that on my finger and apply that to the tops of my cheeks. I don't know that I've ever hit pan so hard on any item, but I love this eyeshadow. It's so beautiful on the eyes and obviously it's amazing on the cheeks too. So, I'm just going to lightly pat this on my cheeks and blend it in really well. I'm going to take a tiny bit too and do um, my eyebrow. And finally I'm going to take a little bit of that eyeshadow and put it in the inner corners of my eyes. Alright, so the final thing obviously is lips and I'm going to use this NYX lip gloss in the shade Sugar Pie. It's a nice neutral shade for the lips. And it smells really good. It kind of smells like cherries. Alright, so this is the final look. If you guys like it, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see other colors on my eyeballs, I do have a purple, um, everyday, easy, purple, wearable look, whatever. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out if you like. Um, and any requests that you have, feel free to leave it down below. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching.